Hello and welcome to Zulala. This time, we're investigating that playground myth. If you cut one worm in half, will two grow back? Uh, looks like the answer is no. Well, certainly not for this plastic one anyway. But it's a complete fib. If you cut an earthworm in half, it cannot regenerate. However, many other animals can. Regeneration is the process of regrowing damaged or lost body parts. And to a certain degree, even we humans can do it. If part of our liver gets removed due to injury or disease, it can grow back to its original size, but not its original shape. And our skin cells are constantly being replenished. We lose on average around 30,000 skin cells every single minute. But this simple regeneration is nothing compared to what some species are able to achieve. Tadpoles can regrow lost limb and eye tissue, while fish can rebuild parts of their kidney, heart, and even the brain. But starfish are regeneration champions. Many species can regrow lost arms, and some can grow entirely new bodies from a single limb. The severed arm has to rely on stored nutrients until it can regrow a new mouth and digestive system. As a result, complete regeneration can take months or even years. Limbs of the starfish usually become detached because predators pull them off, but some species choose to shed their own body parts as part of the defense strategy. Lizards are the most famous example. If a predator grabs onto their tail, they can voluntarily chop it off. Their tails are often brightly colored, and when removed, twitch and wriggle on the ground a bit like a worm. This distracts the attacker for long enough to allow the lizard to escape with its life. Lizards are able to achieve this thanks to some special weak points along its tail, known as fracture planes. Let's use our imagination. To remove the tail, the lizard contracts some extraordinary muscles along these points, which shatters the vertebrae along the fracture planes. It also constricts blood flow to minimize bleeding. In time, the tail regenerates, but it's not a perfect copy. Instead of bone, the tail vertebrae are made out of cartilage, which means it's far less flexible. Losing the tail is costly in other ways as well. Many lizards store fat in their tails, and it takes a huge amount of energy to rebuild. If a young lizard loses its tail, it will stop growth in other parts of the body and focus all its reserves on regrowing the appendage. If an adult lizard drops its tail, it's reproduction that goes on hold whilst repairs are made. But remarkably, some animals use regeneration to reproduce. Non-parasitic flatworms, or planaria, are some of the best in the business. If one of these worms gets torn apart, almost every single snippet can regrow to form a new worm. A parent worm can actually split itself into two parts. Each half can then regrow to form a new adult. In fact, they're so good at regenerating that a fragment of worm with as little as 10,000 cells can rebuild into a fully grown adult. I lose 10,000 skin cells in about 20 seconds. If I could regenerate like a flatworm, there'd be loads of me. But thankfully, there can only be one. Like all of us, I just don't possess the pluripotent stem cells that aid full regeneration. These cells can divide and replicate to become any tissue inside the worm's body. The same cell could become a brain, an eye, or even a mouth. So although you can't cut an earthworm in half without causing irreparable damage, these flatworms absolutely thrive on it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments box below. We'll see you next time on Zulala. <laughs> While fish can regrow parts of their body, such as their heart, liver, and even something else. And it wasn't liver, it was kidney. <laughs> Hi. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not good, huh? No. <laughs> worms don't taste nice. Don't eat worms, kids. <laughs>